Based on the zodiac, you know if they are adventurous, responsible, emotional or social. Of course, knowing even the smallest bit of information about a sign can lead to some premature conclusions about who someone is before really getting to know them. Since we are in the season of Sagittarius, we figured it out the perfect time to debunk some common misconceptions about the Archer sign. First misconception we have is that they are afraid of commitment. Sagittarius do place their freedom above all else, but they are not as afraid of commitment as everyone thinks. What they want in a relationship is constantly changing, so it is difficult for them to find someone who is as willing to evolve as they are. Most people want comfort and stability, which they do too, but they also need to be able to grow in their relationship. If they feel like that is not possible, they have no problem living. Second misconception about Sagittarius is that they are very rude. Sags are known for being honest, brutally honest. They are not rude, they just don't feel the need to sugarcoat anything. If people want the truth, that's what they are going to get. They could be a little less ruthless with their words but we won't push it. Third misconception is that they are way too laid back. Others sometimes see Sads as lazy because they are hardly ever working. Their carefree attitude and adventurous spirit tends to draw them towards a more unconventional life. While everyone is happy working their 9 to 5 jobs, Sagittarius are off exploring and living their best lives. They do have dreams but they achieve them in a less traditional way. Another misconception is that Sagittarius are always optimistic. Yes, they are happy, go lucky rays of sunshine, but they are more sensitive than people know. They have just gotten very good at hiding what they are going through behind those gleaming smiles. Similarly, another misconception is that they are not good at making friends. Sagittarius crave their alone time. Being around people all day can be utterly exhausting. We get it. This makes some people believe that Sagittarius is more of a loner sign. It does not help that the second they meet someone they already know whether or not they want to be friends with them. They are not unfriendly. They just know who is worth their time and who is not. Sagittarius are also considered to be uncompromising and that is another misconception. They have a lot of opinions that they are very vocal about. Because of this, people think they are confrontational and too stuck in their ways. Sure, they stand by the opinions, but they know they are not always right. They are open to hearing everyone's point of view. Some say Sagittarius are unintelligent, and that's a misconception. Some confuse Sagittarius' curiosity with unintelligence. Asking a lot of questions does not make them idiots. They know all about a wide variety of things, but their thirst for knowledge leaves them wanting to know even more. Sagittarius are also considered to be cold, but that is not true. It is true that Sagittarius love this space, but they are not anything but cold. Those closest to a Sagittarius are loved and they would literally do anything for them. They just have a funny way of showing it since they are not great at expressing their feelings. Their kind and caring nature does not surface all that often, but they really do adore their friends and family to no end. Some also say that Sagittarius are not that funny. This is the worst misconception about Sagittarius. Sagittarius are known for their fantastic sense of humor, but some people draw the conclusion that their hilarity is overrated. This is not true at all. They are the funniest people you will meet and they should prove all the haters wrong by making them laugh. Finally, another we have is not the misconception but is considered Sagittarius to be one of the bad signs. It is because a Sagittarius is said to never have children because they are the most irresponsible parent a child can have. The life of the child is completely ruined if at all one of their parent is a Sagittarius because the child lives a life of eternal neglect, loneliness and mental health problems such as anxiety and depression. The child's feeling of being never good enough is a vicious cycle and it affects all their later relationship. 
Spotting of this parent is the best option for such a child but it is no easy task as Sagittarius people are highly codependent. A Sagittarius parent will go to any length to keep a child with them always because of this codependent nature of theirs even if that would mean the child will need to sacrifice his or her life and happiness they would ruin the child's relationship marriage career anything to achieve this what do you guys think is really a sagittarius a bad parents